Hello, it's your internet cartoon hyena, J. Cal Arts here. So before we start off with today's video, I would like to thank everyone for the recent support. People are watching the videos on my channel, people are subscribing, and I just want to verbalize my appreciation for everyone doing that so far. And to continue the support, like, comment, and subscribe as always. So in today's video, I'll be practicing my art skills and I'll be taking a frame from an anime and drawing over it with my own original characters and background art. This is a way for me to practice my copying skills in a sense and improve my background art, which I feel like I can use some work on. And if you can see the background, you know what anime I'm going to be drawing from. So here we go on to the video. So just like I said in the intro, I'll be basically taking a keyframe from the anime fairy tale. If you haven't figured it out by the logo and the background of my introduction, the anime I'll be drawing from is fairy tale. I'll be taking a keyframe from fairy tale and drawing my original characters over said keyframe. And in this case, I'll be drawing over a battle scene between Gajil and Natsu. And I believe this is a battle they have when their two guilds fight each other and fairy tale fans don't tear me up. Just correct me in the comment section. So I'll be talking about my original fairy tale OC characters and how I've changed them in this video. So if you're not in the know, um, I recommend you watch my fairy tale OC video, which I'll link in the video right now. And that video basically goes over the creative process of how I created these two characters and the type of personalities I've assigned them. And if I remember correctly, their names are Amarok and Ignis, but I could be wrong about the second one. If I remember right, I didn't even give Ignis the name. This is just something I came up on the spot, but let's call him Ignis for this video and roll with it. So basically, I ended up um, taking this picture that I'll be showing up screen and this picture of Gajil Natsu and putting it on my canvas. I did resize it a bit, so this, you know, redrawing is not a one-to-one -one with this picture, but basically it's like an outline. And I lowered the opacity of this picture and then added another layer on top to sketch a rough outline of Natsu and Gajil's bodies without like, you know, any details like the hair or the scales or any clothing. And then from there, I ended up, you know, doing my line, well, not line art, but sketching in my own original characters and then going on with my usual drawing process. So one thing about doing this type of drawing is I'm able to basically practice doing background art. I don't do background art that often and I'm pretty sure you can tell from all my videos once you see the finished picture of the characters I draw, they usually stand in a very simple one color background. And so this is just a change of pace with this video art idea and I end up being pretty proud of the blue sky background that I drew myself. Now, in this case, I just recreated the same background in this um, keyframe that I inspired the strong off of, but I do plan to be a bit more adventurous because I do want to do more, I guess, anime battle keyframe redraws on this channel. So be looking forward to that. Despite Fairy Tale being like the main inspiration for this drawing, it's been a very long time since I watched Fairy Tale. I um, encountered Fairy Tale actually when I was in high school. I remember having anime friends who introduced it to me, and I was able to watch like a few episodes of it. Well, a few episodes of season one. I think it was either on YouTube or like one of those defunct anime websites, you know, the ones that have all the anime up there and then anime companies then try to shut them down <laughs> it was on one of those websites and i watched a verse you know a few episodes of the first season and i found it to be very very funny and then i ended up encountering fairytale again when i was like i think in 11th grade when netflix had the whole first season of fairy tale and i ended up you know binge watching it and i personally have mixed feelings on the show because I found the first few episodes to be very funny and then you know the plot got a lot more serious <laughs> at least as far as season one I mean as you can tell by the keyframe here Natsu is fighting a whole different guild of mages and then from what I've read on plot synopsis synopsis Jesus English and from what I've heard you know online like the plot just goes <laughs> out of the wazoo and I'm just not a fan of shows that you know, present one way, usually silly, lighthearted, and, you know, have like a formula to them and then get extremely grim, dark, serious later on. So 
I'm, you know, gonna stick with just watching one season of Fairy Tale and leaving my experience with Fairy Tale to that. I know my hot take on Fairy Tale may not be something that sits well with Fairy Tale fans or anime fans in general, but just remember it's my own personal opinion. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you you're wrong for liking a show or that the show that you like sucks. It's just everyone has their own experience with media and that's just mine and I also have my own preferences and I personally don't care for shows, anime or not, that have like a certified plot goal of defeating one bad guy or you know they start off the show being funny or lighthearted and then changing the plot goal to be something else or getting melodramatic and serious down the road. I just don't care for that stuff. That's why I don't like the story of Kingdom Hearts and it's also why when it comes to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2003 series in particular, I stopped watching the show when Shredder was defeated because to me, the main villain of TMNT is the Shredder. And so without the Shredder, TMNT is not as interesting to me. Well, that's enough of my hot takes on shows. And what do I really know about media? I'm just a cartoon hyena JPEG floating in video YouTube virtual space. I find that the keyframe that I chose to draw my fairy tale OCs over is very fitting because I see my fairy tale OCs, Amarok on the left and Ignis on the right, fighting a lot. They have very contrasting personalities. Amarok is very level headed, serious, and has very little patience when it comes to annoying people or people who are disruptive. And Ignis, essentially, to summarize, is a fun loving, adventurous, boisterous himbo scaly so you know this is like the perfect drawing for these two doing a second video on my fairy tale ocs has also presented an opportunity to improve their designs and i basically made little changes in this video of their designs that i wish i was able to make in the old video as i looked over their old designs and saw things i wanted to tweak that i think would suit them better and make them look better as well and most of it is facial feature stuff and hair color changes etc because with the constraints of this video i can only really draw their upper body chest and their faces and i decided to leave them bare chest because that's how natsun gajio are in the original keyframe Starting with Amarok, I changed his hair color from a dark brown in his original design to more of a jet black bluish type of color, and his wolf ears also have been changed to be more of a navy blue and white color scheme instead of a silver and brown one in his original design, and I think these color changes are better suited considering he's the ice wizard, so I feel like these colors more fit into the ice theme and it also contrasts pretty well to me with his warm skin tone. So I decided to make Ignis more draconic looking. I ended up sticking with the original design because I tried to basically design Ignis originally to look similar to Igneal for people to make the connection between him and Igneal in the original fairy tale series, but I've decided to, you know, take some liberties and make him stand out a bit more from Igneal. I gave him like this nose horn on his nose, and I also gave him horns on the side of his cheeks because I see some dragon designs where that's where the male dragons look like. And I gave him a bunch of red hair because I think he just looks a little better with hair, personally, in my opinion. Um, so that pretty much wraps up his aesthetic changes. So we're at the end of the video. I enjoyed this little exercise for this art idea, and I plan to do more on my channel in the near future. So be prepared for that, and thank you for watching. Thank you for watching till the end of the video. Do your cartoon hyena a favor and like, comment, and subscribe, and see you next time.